Hello everyone, Sam is here from MyForestMagicWave.com uh, making this a small daily video uh, recapping actually the whole week. Okay, these are the trades that I did uh, uh, starting the 12th till today, 16th. Uh, Euro Aussie 20 minute, you can see short down here. Um, uh, this is on the 13th, <laughs> Parn Aussie, <coughs> excuse me. Long, and all of them are using by using a uh, magic IV system which i have that you know for entry precise entry uh, obviously these shares are backed up uh, by my analysis which i'll show you later um so this one and then jj uh pound pound yen on the 13 june 13 again bouncing from this uh 38 78 level and uh, this one i even tweeted um or most of them all of them i tweeted uh jj uh coming down again so uh, usually this is a, uh, basically this one is a counter trend, actually, the pound yen is supposed to go up and very, very high, actually, right? So uh, I've been just taking long, but this one I had an opportunity that, you know, whenever the, it goes up, it comes back in a three wave, so it's like A, B, and it was coming down, so let me try. And then when it came down here, I long here again, I went up uh, with this uh, bounce from 39 to 29, now I'll show you in a minute. Okay, so this is on the 14th, and um, you see pound Aussie coming down because of the Aussie strength. Uh, Aussie index, if I have it here, I'll show you. Uh, I made this a um, few weeks ago, I guess. Let me uh, quickly open it up and show it to you the which one I was talking about. And, and since then, it is just going to keep going to the upside. Okay. Um, and uh, not this one actually. Okay. Okay. So this is the one, the 4th June. I made the, the Aussie is going to bounce from here, right? So it will get strong and Power Aussie USD and Power Aussie and Euro Aussie especially will drop because Euro, Euro was also getting weaker. So Euro was getting weaker, Aussie was getting strong, uh, going to the upside because if you could see this one. Uh, it went up all the way, right, and even further to the upside. So uh, that's why all these trades were, these trades were, you know, pound Aussie down, uh, Euro Aussie down, you know. See, again, on the 14th, Euro Aussie, again, one more down, short. And uh, Euro Aussie, this one again on the 15th. And... You see the 15th uh, and pound yen, like I said, that it is supposed to go up and it just keep going to the upside and it it has to go a long way to the upside. And then on the 16th, your Aussie again, another entry short. Okay, so all of these trades are uh, made using a uh, magic IV system. And what I was telling you about the pound, if I have the chart here, it is based on this one, I guess. Right, so this chart I made like 31st of uh, May that pound yen supposed to be. This is like Elliott wave count. Okay, this chart is for my subscriber, but you know what the hell I'm showing you here as well. So one, two, three, four, five. Then it's A, B, C correction, and which out of which we have A already made the two already made that A or B, uh, or one or two, whatever it is, and then uh, we're supposed to get three. Uh, uh, sorry, um, wave three or B. Or this probably will finish wave uh, two of if this whole thing is wave one, okay? The black count. So out of that, it's one, two, three, four, five. This is basically a third wave going to the upside. A, B, C correction, okay? And um, this one, you see, if you notice that the second wave is right at this line, which is around like 140 area, 140, 138 between, you know, and this high here, right? So this is where it's, it's supposed to come down here and then start going to the upside for wave three. And that's exactly what it did. Uh, later, uh, if you will see, see all my long, long, long. And uh, I don't know if I have this chart here or no. Let's keep going to the upside. And then from there it came down and see right here. So it came down all the way here. And then on Thursday or Friday, Thursday basically, it bounced from here, uh, from 139.29, and went all the way, uh, you know, where it is now. Uh, so I had this like 200 pip trade, 
And, you know, it, like I said, it has to go a lot more to the upside. But the thing is that uh, how to make the entry, the precise entry. Because if it's going to the upside and you make an entry, it will reverse. It always make short uh, waves like this one, right? So if it is going up here and you make a long here, it will retrace on you 100 pip, and which is not good, right? So you need a system to make a precise entry. And look here, I had an entry here. Red candles turn into a blue. And as soon as you have a couple of blue candles, you open a trade. If this indicator is all the way down, going to the upside, it's a nice trade. This is a nice entry. I, I didn't take this one. This one went all the way up. Okay. Now this one, there, again, retracement. There, again, you know, keep doing it. And every time, it, you know, it's so easy that all of these candles are equal size. They're not like big wicks going on here, there, right? They're not random candles. They are equal size, very nicely in just one direction goes up. And it cuts out a lot of noise from the market. Okay, so 500 charge is going up and down and up and down. You don't know what to do, right? So now when you have a red candle and you're supposed to take long only because overall you're supposed to go long in pound yen for the next couple of weeks. So don't even bother uh, shorting this pair. Okay, pound is getting strong. Yen is getting weaker. This pair is going to fly. So uh, just take, you know, long and wait until a retracement finishes and then you can take uh, long easily. Okay. So this has been going on. You see all of this, all of, all of these, my entries, long, long, long. And this harmonic pattern, I already showed in, in a previous uh, video, right? So this is it for now. Uh, if you have a, a, a good entry system, right, then use it. And if you're doing good, you know, keep doing it. But if you're struggling and uh, if you need to uh, get a hold of this system and if you want to do the way I'm doing, uh, you know, I do a couple of webinars a week and uh, where I teach everything. And not only this Magic IP system, how to use it. I have tons of videos all over the place. I have like almost 800, you know, videos on YouTube. Uh, plus on a website, I have all the recordings available, previous webinars. Every si single week, I do two webinars. One is on Wednesday, one on Sunday. And uh, the recordings are uploaded on my website. So if you become a subscriber, you get to see all of my uh, previous recording and learn a lot, a lot, a lot. Uh, not only like, you know, uh, this uh, Elliott Wave, Mumbo Jumbo, then even harmonic patterns. Okay. I teach almost everything. And uh, because of this, it's very become very powerful. If you know what you're doing and where you are in the market, if it is coming down, and a lot of people will go a lot short, not knowing that this area is in the way, and basically we're supposed to go up, not down. So if we come in down, it's a retracement. Don't bother with it. And once it's finished, you start going up with their move. Okay, and uh, you will be better off doing that. So this is it for now. And like I said, if you like it, go on my website, subscribe, and be a part of it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. And if you like the uh, the video, please, uh, you know, don't hesitate to, uh, you know, press the like button and subscribe my channel if you want. Okay? Thank you.